Hey, what's up everybody? Adobe Masters here. And today I'm gonna to be showing you how to create a pixelization transition in Adobe Premiere Pro. I sort of inspired myself with the last video. If you remember at the very end of it, I was like, hmm, maybe we can make a transition out of this by putting two pieces of clips together and then adding this effect and sort of, you know, mirroring it on the two clips. And so I decided, why not do it? So this is what we're going to be creating today right here. That effect right there, pretty fun to do. Um, basically, we're doing the exact same thing with Mosaic. We're making it pixelated, then we're bringing the pixels back down so it's back and clear again, sort of what we did with the text, but with footage this time. So let's get started. I'm gonna go ahead and just delete out the little animation that I did on both of these, which is just right here. All it is is animating the Mosaic um, effect. So we're going to go into the first one, kind of find where we want it to start transitioning. Then we're going to go into the effects under stylize to mosaic. We're then going to drop that onto here and you'll see that it comes out really, really pixelated. So what we wanna do is we want to first off make this clear. We want the entire beginning part of this to be clear, not pixelated. So how do we make sure that it's perfectly clear? Well, we need to make the horizontal and the vertical at least or larger than the dimensions of the video. So this is a 1080p video, which means I need to make the horizontal blocks at least 1920. So we'll just go right there and we need to make the vertical blocks at least 1080. Now, why does this work? Because when what the mosaic thing is doing is it's blocking out the data. Basically, it's taking the average of all of it. So if we did it by like 10 by nine, it's gonna split this into 10 rows, nine columns. And it's going to average everything in here and then make one color out of it. So when we go to 1928 by 11, um, by anything greater than the dimensions of the video, what we're saying is we want to divide it by the pixels of the video. And that means that it's going to do exactly what the normal thing is doing and just show the video itself. So if you don't, didn't understand that, that's fine. Just make sure that the horizontal and vertical blocks are at least or greater than your dimensions of the video and you'll have perfectly clear video. So if we turn this on and off, there'll be no change whatsoever. And that's important because now what we can do is we can animate this. So we're going to go into the point where we, we want this to start and we're gonna go ahead and click these two buttons right here so that the animation begins, both these stopwatches. And now what we're gonna do is then move it to the end of the clip. Um, let's see how far back was that. Yeah, it's about a second, that'll be fine. And then we're going to drop this down to incredibly low numbers. So let's go something like 20 by 10 maybe, 20 by maybe 10, that looks fine. So yeah, now we have this blocky digitalized sort of effect. And you can see what I was saying, is it's creating these equal blocks, it's made a grid out of it, and it's taking all the colors in there, making an average color, and then filling that entire block with that color. So then, next thing we wanna do is we wanna do the exact inverse. So we wanna go over to this next piece of footage, right here, and then we want to grab the mosaic and we want to drop that on here. Now, we want it to start this time being pixelated, because we want the transition to happen during the pixelization. What we want it to do is actually we want it to share these exact values. So only the colors change when it's coming back. So when we go over to here, we want this uh, animation right here to be at 20 and 10. So we're gonna go ahead and turn on the animation on this side, the right side. This is, we're affecting the right one right here. We're gonna make this one 20 and this one 10. And now you'll see that all that changes is the colors. The block size is exactly the same. So like keep your eye on that one right there and you'll see that all that's happening is the colors are changing. And then we're just going to move forward maybe to about one or so seconds forward and then we're gonna do the exact same thing. Make sure this is greater than 1980, make sure this one, or 1920, make sure this one is greater than 1080 and then there we go. And now we have this beautiful little effect happening where it pixelizes and then it sort of jumps into the next scene. And of course you can move around the keyframes if you want the pixelization to happen slower or faster, but that is the basic sort of dynamics of the effect. Really, really neat effect. And I love to create transitions on my own using like effects instead of you know just dragging something in because you get a lot more creativity and involvement with it. That though is the effect right there. Thanks everyone for joining me for this tutorial. If you got any questions or comments or suggestions for future tutorials, those in the comments section below. And if you wanna see more videos similar to this one, I make an Adobe video every other day. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Until next time guys, see ya.